What's up, guys? Welcome back to another episode of Buying and Selling Flippa Good versus Bad Websites. I've had some amazing feedback from you guys on this series specifically, and it has been a lot of fun. To be honest, there have been a lot of really fun DMs, people asking me to value their company, which I think is pretty goofy because Flippa literally has a free valuation tool. But before I could jump into this, I wanted to tell everybody that I'm doing a 50% off, five zero percent off sale for Black Friday uh, on the buying and selling website course. And that is going to be in the link description below, link in the description below. So if you just use the coupon code Black Friday, you will get 50% off of my buying and selling websites course. And I'm actually working on some content right now. Uh, if you guys are watching this video, you can kind of get a, a sneak glimpse or sneak peek at buying and selling apps. I've been talking to a lot of developers in the mobile application space with iOS and Android. And I've been getting a little bit more familiar with building out a portfolio. I'm getting pretty close to having that in the bootcamp as well. So definitely leave some comments below and also shoot me some DMs if you guys are interested in an additional course content around applications, buying and selling them, building a portfolio of mobile applications because they are pretty interesting. Uh, all the developers that I've been talking and doing diligence with about the potential opportunity of building out a large portfolio, it's, it's pretty exciting. So once again, Black Friday sale, 50% off of the course if you guys wanna learn the basics of buying and selling websites for passive income, cash flow, and uh, building out a portfolio, that link will be in the description below. So without further ado, let's jump into doing some live due diligence here on these websites. As I've said in the past, I'm very, very, very bullish on SaaS websites for the portfolio. Um, and after speaking on the panel at the Flippa Exit Conference last month, uh, the other panel panelists, I guess you could say, when we got off stage, I talked to them and they're all looking at SaaS as well, as well as um, some AdSense focused sites and uh, e-commerce is one that is a little bit on, on the fringe of, of what I'm comfortable with because you have to really know advertising very well. And if you're good at Facebook ads, as I've said in the past, snap up some of those e-commerce businesses because they are uh, basically a funnel. When you buy an e-commerce company, your, your testament is to the marketing and advertising side and creating funnels to sell those products. So I want to go over SaaS because that is what the hot topic is right now. Subscription as a service, if you guys are new to that, which is this category here. And I wanted to show you guys uh, one of the best ones right now on Flippa. Editor's Choice is Pianu. It's going for 60K. All right, there we go. So it launched in 2015. Piano is a subscription site offering a new way to learn piano. And uh, the numbers are solid on this one. So this is definitely classifying under the uh, category of good. This is something to look out for. These are websites that are available on marketplaces like Flippa. And this is a rare find here. So I wanted to preface that before I go through this. These are every maybe one in a hundred sites that come onto Flippa and sell. And this is a uh, very well priced as well as um, the age of the business and its subscription. So it's super attractive to investors everywhere. So let's dive into this. It was in 2015, so about four years old. And uh, it allows people to learn piano. So it's like an educational course uh, with steady monthly net profit of 2,900. It's SaaS built on WordPress 5.2, four years old. Uh, it's 2019, so it must have been towards the end of 2015 that it started there. Net profit, 2,960. And page views are 277,000 per month. You can see that it's flat across. And I've mentioned in the past on this series that Flat is good when you're investing because it is showing at least consistency and that there is some steady, steady organic traffic and your traffic is at least healthy when you're seeing flat. If you're seeing a slight decline, you're, you're, you may have to beef up on the marketing and advertising side and inbound side. But I, I like seeing flat because at least you have the flexibility to, to move up 
Um, you know, if things move down, you at least are still making money because if it's flat, uh, you're, that's kind of your, your equilibrium where you're, where you're nice and uh, balanced there. So the financials are 3,300 in gross and 2,960 net. Uh, which is pretty good. It looks like that's kind of trending a little bit downwards, but it uh, looks like in November 18, 34, 22, and we're looking like 2,800 this past month in October, 2019. So about a five or $600 decrease there. Um, actually, no, that's $200 decrease. And oh, that's a net profit. All right, so gross, we're looking at about a uh seven or eight hundred dollar decrease there and it's it's still looking healthy though look at these over the past let's say eight months six months we're looking pretty consistent which is what you're looking for here even a dip down in february of 2019 here 2818 and 2420 net and gross 2800 gross was 2800 in february so there were spikes, but that is that is a very long time frame to be hitting around that consistency number, and they average these out. These financials on Flippa are always going to be gross and net are always going to be averaged. So these are really healthy margins as well. If you can tell here, you're only spending a couple hundred dollars each month. Here we have traffic looking like at November of 2018, three how was that 384,405 and here we are in October at 309,000 so it's looking pretty steady and people would argue that this looks like a downtrend there's a big dip in August of 155,000 so almost half or it was half uh, of a dip there and then it's up on the incline again so traffic health is looking pretty steady with uniques. And for everybody that's brand new to traffic, the uniques are the unique individuals that are coming to the site. Page views are the amount of pages that those individuals have viewed. So when you look at 55,000 uniques, 50, 52,000 people have viewed this many pages. So that's divided across um, that many people. So that many people view multiple pages each. It's looking like, that is that's a lot <laughs> that's a lot of page views it's an average of 4.43 pages per person here which is pretty awesome that's very sticky average duration is three minutes and 33 seconds the average person is spending over three minutes on their doing their own diligence on if they want to subscribe to this service bounce is 46 and to people new to traffic um, that may seem high, but it is actually very low. Uh, when you're hitting about a 50% bounce rate, that's pretty substantially low, uh, which is a good thing. Your, your average people that are sending a lot of traffic like this, um, that are coming from multiple sources that may or may not be targeted, they may, may be buying traffic or something like that, you're gonna see a massive bounce rate of you know 90% and mid 80% and stuff like that. So this is this means that their sources that are coming to uh, the site are good quality traffic that are people that are actually coming there knowing what the product is. So that means that they have decent backlinks out there and uh, they actually have decent traffic coming, whether it's, uh, we'll, we'll dive into the traffic here in a second, but you can see the reason that this is such a low bounce rate you can see it's 46.6% and you can see the reason right here. The top channel is e organic traffic with 68% of traffic being organic. Now I've mentioned in the series in the past, I mentioned this on uh, my panel at the Flippa conference. I've mentioned this probably a dozen times um, on various different channels here. And, and it is fundamental to your, uh, your business if you're investing and buying a portfolio of these, that organic traffic and your, your channels are differentiated out in a good distribution. Like you wanna be able to know if tomorrow, if Google changes the algorithm, you aren't overly exposed. And at the same time, if Facebook changes their algorithm and you're 90% on social here, reliant on their traffic, you're not screwed. 
uh, out of what you've put money in. You want to get money back when you put when you invest money in something. <laughs> That's just fundamentals there. So if, if you buy this website for 60 grand, you want these channels to survive as long as that 60 grand comes back uh, and you want to obviously make a return. But at the same time here, this is a very healthy breakdown. I usually don't touch anything unless it has 60 plus percent of organic traffic. So this hits right into that sweet spot there with 2.5 million in organic search. And that is across this time frame here um, that they're they're talking about. And it is a very, very, uh, very, very well distributed organization here. Um, you can see that they are pushing email heavily. Uh, and social is heavy. Referral traffic usually means uh, backlinks um, that's coming directly uh, or different like websites that are linking to them direct. That can be a lot of different things. Usually Google, if it can't, if it can't identify where things are coming from, it'll throw it into the bucket of direct and organic search is phenomenal. That is very, very good. Um, very, very well done. And it's 1.1 from the United States. Super steady traffic or um, revenue, sorry. Uh, and you can see here their PL or their basic PL. Costs each month are 400, between 380 and 400, it looks like. And the profit margins are hefty. So if you are new to investing, this is, um, or even business in general, these margins are very, very very, very uh, fat, <laughs> I guess you could say. There's, there's a lot of meat on the bone here. So this is super, super, super cool to see this because these guys have worked really hard on this and uh, they've built this out for a very long-term uh, business. So you can see there are over 300 song tutorials in the Academy and lessons are $8 a month. Premium model also offers 125 year classroom membership, average 100 new users per day. Look at that. So 100 people are signing up a day uh, with a conversion rate with paid subscription of 5.5%. If you guys are new to traffic to homepage, traffic to homepage on average across the board is about 2% uh, when people are coming to a, to a brand new homepage. So that means that organic traffic is helping that number go up. So they have affiliate agreement with Music Notes. Um, it looks like they also have an Amazon affiliate where they're generating some revenue. Business strengths, keywords ranking, evergreen niche, high levels of automation, passive revenue, well-established and unique brand, opportunities for new owner, capitalize on emerging market, yes. Improved current marketing efforts, yes. Uh, advance or explore retail distribution partnerships. That's an interesting one that I wouldn't have thought of. I would also add on to here, monetizing the user base because there's a massive user base, 45,000 email subscribers that you could easily, right when you purchase it, if you send out an email, you could easily make a couple thousand dollars uh, and and really get it uh, get the revenue ball rolling. SEO, word of mouth, that's pretty good. That's been done. And it's always kind of a revolving door there. Facebook, you can see that their social has grown and YouTube has about 165,000. Makes sense they're doing tutorial videos. The new owner has decided to devote more time playing music professionally after launching and developing the site. He would like to put uh, Piano in the hands of someone that could grow full potential. So pretty, uh, pretty great that it's broken down here. And you can even see that the owner, uh, Luis, has been answering questions, which is always healthy because if you're following it and watching this on the site, it pings you with an email. So these are the monthly breakdowns, he said. Hosting and apps, $100 plus med membership plugin is $149 with hosting. Processing fees, Stripe uh, and PayPal, it varies month to month depending on the number and amount of transactions. On average, $170. So all of it's going towards operations, which is good. Any copyright issues with the songs? Uh, when the owner incorporated with his lawyer back in 2015, he researched the need, uh, the needed streaming license to cover piano songs. However, piano's new sheet music feature on the tutorials presents a wrinkle for public domain songs, twinkle, twinkle, or for Eloise, 
is covered for many pop songs and things on the license will have to be obtained. Okay, so you will have to obtain the licenses. That seems pretty pretty interesting there. Seller the financing at this stage, the owner is willing to hear proposals. Okay, that's good. Um, to increase the Amazon affiliates. At the moment, it's only 10 to $50 per month. Cool, looks like you can promote Music Notes partnership. That's a good one. So yeah, this is a, a fantastic business here. Probably one of the best ones I've covered on the series. It's an editor's choice on here, which makes sense. And at this multiple, uh, the starting price is 60K. You're gonna take your net profit, multiply that by 20 or 24, two years, monthly multiple. So it is looking like a discount because at uh, this multiple, 30 times 20 is going to be, um, or 30 times uh, three, sorry. If it's if it's 3,000, you're looking at, uh, this is a very, very well-priced option. And I think in terms of the multiple, with something like this, it, it, it's priced in. Like he clearly worked with Flippa or someone that knows how these things sell because this the numbers line up when you when you see a healthy business like this you you should be willing to sacrifice on uh, monthly multiple a little bit there and at three thousand uh, gross and well I guess you could even say it's thirty three gross and three thousand net so at that I mean this is such a steal in my opinion I mean you could not you cannot find that level of return in other asset classes. You just can't do it. Sorry. It just doesn't exist. <laughs> uh, other than something like Bitcoin or something like that. This is just a, a, a class A version of what you could find on Flippa. And this multiple makes sense. And it is understandable why there are 285 people watching this because everybody wants to see how this plays out. So let's find a bad one. It's always good. It's always fun to look through uh, some of these bad ones here and not saying that these are in abundance, but there always is going to be uh, bad where there is good. And there's always going to be people trying to, I actually did this one last time <laughs> as a bad one, uh, but let's try and find one that you guys will like. Look at that. Somebody's selling, somebody's selling Flippa.org, a marketplace, like a, a straight up competitor to Flippa on here. That's kind of funny. I'm going to look at that one. <laughs> Let's see. So it's been around for 10 years and uh, it looks like they have their analytics. Flippo, they're saying that it's a, a very, um, very valuable URL or domain. Uh, yeah, so they're, they're interested in selling <laughs> type domain with permanent traffic source from the flip of visitors who accidentally misspelled their favorite website. So this, this is a bad one. I, I am, uh, I've seen a few of these on Flippa in the past where people are selling misspellings. Um, I've seen it for Twitter, I've seen it for Facebook, I've seen it for Google, I've seen it for all of the Nike, I've seen it for the big, big name brands out there where they're selling, um, actually let's see the comments on here. They're selling misspellings and um, it is, it, it's very gray area because some people would say that this could be a legal issue um, when you're copying something and trying to redirect users from another business. That is a gray area. I'm not an attorney, uh, so I'm not gonna say that it's uh, <laughs> it's something that is illegal, but it is very close uh, in my opinion. And just the ethics of it, I don't agree with it. Um, I think for some people, they'll make a lot of money off of misspell URLs of like Twitter and stuff like that and just park a park banner ads all over it and uh, just make passive income that way. That's a kind of a bleak way to do it and um, I don't recommend it. But it is interesting that 
Flippa has this on here because it's, what is it, two eyes and then dot org. So if people go to this, um, I added this domain to Google Analytics a few weeks ago. Instantly site received 131,000 page views. <laughs> so, so they're kind of siphoning off people that are going to Flippa. And uh, I think that that's, yeah, it just, it, it's interesting that that's on here for sure. But I do not recommend getting misspell URLs because it's just, it's not, uh, it's like the ultimate used car salesman way of trying to monetize a website on the internet when you're siphoning off of other people's traffic. It's only, it's a means to an end. It's not going to last for a long time. Putting these next to each other, it's just not even close. So uh, that's all I want to mention about that. That's going to be my bad one for the day in terms of diligence. I'm glad that I got to show you guys an excellent one and then a bad one that is just sort of goofy, uh, a typo domain. <laughs> so uh, I'm glad that we could go across the full spectrum today and I could show you guys uh, all of that. So that is it for this episode of buying and selling good versus bad on Flippa. And I hope you guys like it. If you did, click the link in the description to check out the course uh, that I made about buying and selling websites for beginners. Uh, show me some love and show the channel some love. I would really appreciate it greatly. And use the coupon code Black Friday to get 50% off, as I mentioned at the beginning of this. And also like this video if you really like this content and want to see more of it. Uh, it helps the channel and uh, helps get more people to learn about this awesome asset class that is buying and selling websites and soon to be applications. Uh, so as I mentioned, I'm gonna jump into that later, but I will see you guys on the next episode and I will hopefully have some more course content out there for everybody that's been asking. Thanks again for the DMs. 